Welcome back to my channel everyone, Three Tips here. You can see the uh, current flow has dropped way off and is very erratic going through the cell now. So what we're going to do is I think what's happened here is the uh, silver cell anode filter basket has become clogged up and so it's interfering with the current flow through the cell. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to remove this cell or this uh, anode filter. I'm going to pull it out and just put it in this container temporarily. I've got a brand new filter basket prepared with a new filter in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try some of this uh, real fine grain shot that we poured in a previous video here a few days ago. Oh yeah, this stuff's going to like make the other look like a sorry operation here. This is going to create a lot of uh, contact through that cell because these are small grains of silver and uh, it's a brand new fresh anode filter. I'm going to set that right down in here. What I'll do is let this, uh, let the electrolyte soak into that filter and make contact with that impure silver shot that we just added. But in the meantime, while we wait for that, let's take a look down inside this thing. And look in here, I'll show you what we got in here. It's just mush. It's called uh, silver cell slimes. You can see it's just like mud. And what it is, it's the insoluble material that gets trapped in this anode filter. And this material will contain traces of gold, traces of platinum group metals. And so that's why I save these. And then I can process them later on and recover the precious metals that these filters contain. Let's look down inside the cell here and see what it looks like inside of here. You can see that the crystal is growing in there, but it's slowed way down uh, due to the reduced current flow because that uh, anode filter was so plugged up. So now we're going to go ahead and try out this new filter and see if this will speed things up for us. This uh, anode bar has got a bunch of gunk on it. You see that? So what I'm going to do is uh, try to rinse a little bit of this off with some distilled water. Just kind of loosen it up by rubbing it with my hand here. Just kind of clean that off out of there, off the bottom of this, because it will interfere with the flow of current through the silver cell. I should do better for us. I think we've got a long way to go here. We got lots of room in the cell. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this basket up. You know what, let's go ahead and put this in now. The power supply is on up there. I'm gonna put the uh, anode electrode bar in there. And I'm gonna cover it with some shot just to make sure get the best current flow possible through the cell. All right, we've got the fresh filter installed, some fresh impure silver shot in that new filter. And if you look up here, you'll see that our amps have jumped all the way up to three amps flowing through the cell now. And what this will do is the current flow that does the work of dissolving the impure silver. So up at three amps, we should uh, make quick work of that single charge of impure silver 
that's in the cell. One more time, we're going to review this real quick. The positive side of the power supply is connected to that anode electrode bar that's buried in that silver, that impure silver in that filter. The current flow causes the silver that's in contact down inside of the cell. It's in contact and submerged in the electrolyte. See it? It's got some holes drilled in it. The current flow dissolves that impure silver. Insoluble material gets trapped in the filter. And then the current, the uh, silver ions that dissolve from that impure silver that I feed in, they travel down through this electrolyte and they plate out on the inside of the uh, stainless steel bowl. That's our cathode. That stainless steel bowl is connected to the negative side of the power supply right here. It's just a strap down there with a copper strap uh, hose clamped onto the stainless steel bowl. And it goes to the negative side of our power supply. So you can see we're well above 3 amps now, which is a good thing. That means this is going to go very quickly now. And this charge of silver in this anode basket now should dissolve very quickly. This will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.